What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. The last 20 years has been very interesting for black men. And I can tell you, it's been like almost like night and day, 2002 to 2022. I mean, jobs and, you know, 20 years ago, everybody had to clock in. You know, you couldn't really work remotely. Um, it was quite difficult. You were kind of confined to your local city. There was no such thing as um, online dating. I mean, you had your Yahoo Messenger and stuff like that. But I mean, no apps for Tinder, you know, Christian mingles and all this sort of stuff, right? So that development has put men in general in a position to have uh, more options. But also the economies have diversified you know there's more ways to make money there's different industries that exist that didn't exist then you have more black men able to um, even talk about their experiences and get paid for it just like me i couldn't get paid 20 years ago talking about the black male experience on online and i can make a full living off of it now it's, just, it's a completely demand right um but what we've seen is that for these men in america especially the black men in america as he's able to get more money and just get more experience in life and understand that, you know, the world is bigger than his city. We've seen black men less interested in marriage. Now this hasn't just been all black men. Obviously you have black men that are still a pop in the question and shout out to those brothers. But what you've seen is a lot of black men, especially as they made more money, um, they're marrying women from either higher social economic statuses like themselves um, are what they're doing, depending on how they made the money, is they want to have open relationships. It's not as uncommon as you think. There are a lot of black men still getting married and having monogamous relationships, but then you're starting to see black men say, I don't really want to do that. Let's just even look at athletes. Athletes used to marry their wives. You had baby mamas here and there, but it was more common that almost every athlete had a wife in the NBA. Many NBA players, 20, 30 years ago, were married. I mean, Jordan was married in the league. Pippen was married in the league. Magic Johnson was married in the league. Everybody was married in the league. Now, even in the NFL, you will see a lot of players that's just having baby mamas. Cam Newton. He's with chicks. He won't marry him. Tricks on chicks. Will not marry him. Kevin Durant. Lifetime bachelor. Don't even think about getting married. Okay? And, and, and so the guys like this are what we want to know why now let's talk about some of the guys who have been gotten married before and don't want to be married anymore and what are some of these guys saying something like what safari is about to say safari samuels ex-husband of erica minya ex-boyfriend of Nicki minaj but i want you to hear what he's looking for in a relationship i'm only going to really deal with the first part i'll play the whole clip but play that clip felix now i, w I want two girlfriends you think i want two i want two girlfriends and i just and need you heard what he had to say brother safari wants two girlfriends now when he said that he got a lot of you know people hating on him in the comments and a lot of women what we, we, we try to show some of them here you know um and it was mad right talking about he don't deserve a woman sir couldn't keep his wife happy well wants two women okay sir pop off he is so corny he's so shallow like all of that um he's not being disrespectful to anybody he's talking about what he wants just like when the average at best chick said what she wanted, it was her preference, right? He's preferring that. But do you wanna know why he said, I want two girlfriends? <sighs> because let me tell you something, not a lot of ladies and a lot of black men feel like this really can give a lot to a man. I'm gonna say it. A lot of black men who have money, like Mr. Safari Samuels, most women, and I know he's fucked up, he's crazy, does ridiculous stuff. Most women can't do anything for these guys. They're not trained to do it. Don't know how to do it. And if they knew how to do it, they still wouldn't do it. The question is, why should he be faithful to you? And, and he's not the only person that feels like that. He's just only the person that come out there and say it. Many black men feel, if I get with this woman long-term, not all women, but usually, the only person benefiting out of the deal is her. Well, you're gonna say, well, you, you, you're hating on women. Women, they can do everything. They're smart. 
They're intelligent. They're doing stuff in the workforce. I agree. Women are definitely smart, talented, beautiful. Sure. What are they contributing to relationships for men though? Not much. In his opinion. That's why he wants two girls. And a lot of black men feel that way. I'm going to tell you another reason why. You know, when you're dealing with a woman, uh, certain ladies have the proclivity, guys, to try to, you know, look for problems that are not there. Try to start problems that are not there. Start arguments that are not there. And you and somebody will say, well, that's just them being women. No. Nobody got time for that shit. I'm just going to be real. Most dudes that got something to, to lose, nobody has time for that bullshit. Please stop. Okay? Just stop. Mo most guys want to be able to say, you're tripping right now. I'm out. Call the other girl. I'll be over there for like three or four weeks. When you get your shit together, call me back. Because you know why? Most, most, most ladies for guys that are dealing with, and, 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 and most these dudes that are dealing in monogamous relationships. Women know you can't go nowhere. I'm not saying all. But, but especially when they get on their period stuff, man, they can be brutal, man. I had a girl that was on her period and she had migraines. Talk about a satanic combination. And dudes want to be able to be like, listen, you start tripping. I'll see you later. Because most women for a guy like Safari, what can they do for him? It's not even being mean. You can't give him no money. You probably not in the industry. You probably don't want to be a wife like that. You want to be married, but you don't want to be a wife. What can you really give this guy? Let him have two girls. Forget it. If they're consenting about it. Two women, I mean. Don't. I'm not giving my R. Kelly on nothing like that. Most, a lot of guys are starting to feel like him. Even if they're not going to do it, they feel like it. Dudes are just tired. Most, most ladies that want their own man. The question is, have they put in the work to really deserve a, their own man? That's the question. You might think you deserve it, but are you really? Because I, I feel like I deserve to get into Harvard. My grades didn't say the same. <laughs> okay. And that's something that needs to be, you know, that's a fair question to ask. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of A Celebrity Jungle. I appreciate your follow that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out. Thank you.